¿De acuerdo? Escúchame, flotate siempre, obedeceme todo el tiempo. Touch him up, toca los guantes. Good luck, buena suerte. Juan Carlos Burgos. Yeah, Burgos doing a good job of establishing the jab right now in the center of the ring. Way he's supposed to. For a long time, he wasn't interested. Profession chose him. His skills are pitched higher, and it's hard to tell it was landing clean, I thought, but. World title. And particularly for Garcia. Garcia, which I think right now is a, is a good decision. Good right hand. Right hand for Juan Carlos Burgos. At a world class level. He's big, he has some skills. He's in his prime. I'd say overall the toughest package that Garcia's had to face so far in his career. And He's got real skills, as does Garcia. And one element of that is that both fighters are blocking a lot of punches with their gloves. In fact, the majority of punches are being blocked. Which has been reinforced by his entire professional career. All right oh. hand by Garcia. And a good counter shot in return by Burgos and Garcia. Almost dipped to the canvas. Oh, shot. Garcia landed a big right hand on Burgos's temple. Burgos covers up and lands a big left hook of his own that buckles Garcia and definitely gets his attention. Stranger things have happened. Hard right hand by Garcia. Who scheduled 12. It's been no better than Burgos's for the most part. In Garcia. Amateur fighter ever in the sport. Burgos's right arm involuntarily dropped, like he was out of it for a second. Jim, I have a 29-28 Garcia. And now we're back to the... Um, he was given problems by guys who could move, guys who wouldn't come at him. Lands a straight right hand again there. Got the, got the whiskers on the chin only tonight. There you go, nice right hand. Jab again, jab again. Keep going. There you go, there you go. That he's the culmination of the experience in his family. That he's the victor because if it goes at this pace, this is going to favor Mikey Garcia. Garcia is the one who's actually in Burgos's corner. Or get hurt from punches that you wouldn't think hurt him. Andre and I covered. He had backed out to a distance from which he wouldn't be, have a chance to get much offense done. Because of his exquisite timing, partly, Burgos here and other fighters in the past, right at the apex of the power of the shot. 11 knockouts in a row for Garcia. And there'll be a lot of lateral movement there. Here we see Garcia biding his time, blinding Burgos with the jab, and landing a roundhouse right to the chin. And those are the kind of punches that have Burgos tentative in this fight. Certainly, as Andre said, Burgos seems to have a feeling of doubt. Raw end of a, of a really bad decision, a draw against Rocky Martinez in a fight he clearly won here in this ring not long ago. Do I play it safe and hope to maybe land something down the stretch and go the distance? This is what's going on right now, I believe, with Virgo. Mikey's done tonight. Right, and at, at this level, good left hook for Mikey. At this level, it's the small things that get you ahead. That's the difference, as you mentioned, that get you to the top and keep you at the top. And right now, Mikey's showing what it takes to be a champion. Another way to say is class tells over time. It doesn't often give time for them to create separation, which Garcia has done increasingly in this fight, separated himself. Time! And shortened the tender, or the, uh, the length of the fight. He's going to have to learn how to deal with it, and he's showing some strides, I think, in this fight. Good body shot by Garcia with the left hand. But we got to keep in mind that Burgos is a veteran. So that he's not looked at as a dangerous opponent with three strikes against him. Oh, and by the way, might not make a good fight. Amazing job of it tonight, aided by the fact that longer and taller Burgos. Defensive fighter out of Mikey when he hit him with that left hook early, I think. And I think it all goes back to Garcia being so relaxed. If you're tight, you can't see certain shots coming. Garcia is a master at staying relaxed. He's a master at distance, and, and that's what we're seeing on display right now. Yeah, I agree. I think he's the best-looking American prospect in a minute. Because he gets to put his skills on display, his natural temperament is not seek and destroy, it's counter. 
right, but it's like you mentioned, he's on the A side, and with these big fights that are being talked about, an unwarranted risk. He's fighting a tall, rangy fighter with movement. He's learned how to track him down. Agreed. And it's very difficult to knock out a really good fighter Time. if he makes a bargain with himself. Burgos is doing some good things. It's not a path to victory. It seems like he's doing just enough to lose Garcia up by seven points. You see Garcia being a little bit more aggressive, not reckless, but aggressive with his feet and trying to close the distance a little bit on Burgos. Exactly. You'll rarely see Garcia overshoot. He, he's a master at defense. He's perfected it. Just saw Burgos come up short with the jab, even though uppercut lands for Garcia. Nice short shot. Seems to be Burgos' bailout shot is that left hook, that lead left hook. When, when, he, when, he, when he sees an opening, good shot for Burgos. power chess match taking place in the small room at Madison Square Garden. Mikey Garcia stalking, stalking, but never overreaching or over-risking as he tries for a 12th consecutive knockout against a fighter who appears to have made a bargain with himself. He has 10 knockouts and one technical win in that streak. And in the technical win, he totally dominated the other fighter in the nature of a knockout. Mikey has fight-changing power, but I don't think it was the right hand. Your finger on it? No, he just is the better man and over time imposes himself. He's getting it done right now. And again, I don't want to belabor the point, but I got to let it be known. Good, good exchange from both fighters. He's more of a... Uh, a boxer puncher than a puncher boxer. Golovkin, in the middleweight division, has 15 consecutive knockouts of any reigning title holder in the sport. Yeah, Mikey Garcia, that's what's wrong. <laughs> he stole the freight train of Garcia's star track and the promoter's ambition that he wind up being a pay-per-view star. Well, he, he hasn't generated, I think it's apparent that that's not all him that's a, a, a guy who's really not very willing to engage Mikey's not just gonna run headlong into an opponent and just start winging punches it's just the nature of the sport everybody's not gonna go and I think we get intoxicated with knockouts sometimes and we think that every fighter is gonna go again Burgos is a veteran he's taking the shots he's still here I think great it's gonna help point. him a great point Andre Ward as more in the crowd begin to move going the distance with Mitch Blood Green Clearly, if the opponent isn't willing to engage. I think this fight is good for Garcia. A lot faster than Burgos. For the winner by unanimous decision, still WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Miguel Angel, Mikey Garcia.